Hi, I'm Mike Elliott, and you're watching CEO Live TV. Today, we're joined by Mr. William Caragall, Chairman and CEO of Positive ID Corp., a life sciences company focused on detection and diagnostics that trades under ticker PSID. Good morning, Bill. Thanks for being on the show. Good morning, Mike. Great to be here with you. So to start off, tell us about your background and how you got involved with Positive ID. Uh, yes, uh, well, uh, I've spent the better part of my career, which now uh, spans uh, uh, well over 25 years, working with development stage technology companies, uh, including uh, two uh, NASDAQ IPOs uh, over the course of that uh, the past 20 years. Uh, about six years ago, uh, myself uh, and a group out of California, led by our president, Lyle Probst, uh, put together what has become today Positive ID. It was founded on our molecular diagnostic platform, uh, which started uh, with uh, the product that we call M-Band. Uh, the M-Band product was developed with $30 million of contract funding uh, from the Department of Homeland Security that we ultimately licensed uh, to a very large uh, DC-based uh, defense contractor. It was on that base of intellectual property and, and know-how uh, that we developed our prototype product, Firefly. Uh, and then over the course of the past couple of years have added two additional acquisitions to bring together Positive ID, the company uh, that we have today um, uh, and that we're very, uh, very pleased to be here today to talk to you about. You mentioned two of your uh, products and so tell us uh, a little bit more real quick about some of your, your flagship or, or best-selling products right now. Well, let me uh, just finish uh, first with the, the Firefly product, which is a product under development. Uh, we have a prototype developed. And the reason why Firefly is important uh, is because Firefly takes the molecular diagnostic device, if you will, the lab out into the field uh, to be able to provide a point of care, point of need device that is smaller, faster, and less expensive uh, than current uh, gold standard uh, molecular diagnostic testing, which is all done in the lab today. In addition, uh, we have a division of, uh, that builds specialty, d d builds and designs specialty uh, uh, vehicles mm -hmm. and specifically mobile labs. We did $5 million of revenue in that division uh, based out of Concord, California. Uh, and what we've really been focusing on and had a lot of uh, success over the course of the past couple of years is really emerging as one of the leaders in the development uh, and design of, uh, of mobile laboratories. Uh, and in addition, our third segment, uh, which is medical devices, we have a product uh, called Caregiver, which I will hold up and show for you here today, which is uh, the only FDA cleared for clinical use infrared thermometer. One button push, uh, in one second, you get a, a temperature uh, that equates and has been shown through independent study uh, and FDA clearance uh, to correlate directly to uh, uh, oral predictive uh, thermometry. So those are our three products, three product lines. As I said, uh, we did $5 million of revenue in the mobile labs business. Our total revenue last year was 5.6 million, uh, which was an 89% increase over 2015. Uh, and we uh, were re really firing on all cylinders in all three segments. And uh, before the next question, I want to segue back just a little bit on the Firefly. So portable detection device, can you just elaborate just a, a little bit more on what can that detect and when approximately uh, is a time frame, or if you can reveal that to us on, on when that might be commercially available? So the Firefly uh, is based on piece of the PCR detection chemistry, uh, which is the industry standard. Uh, it's the uh, testing uh, method that's used by the CDC uh, in all of their labs. Uh, it's been around for a number of years. And what we've done is taken that, miniaturized it, and coupled with it our, uh, our intellectual property uh, based on, to a great degree, uh, our 22 patents, uh, our ability to do miniaturized and microfluidic sample processing. Uh, that allows us to test using PCR any of the currently available assays that are being tested on lab-based PCR devices. So we've tested and put out our res and published our results related to things like influenza, things like MRSA, C. diff, uh, emerging diseases which are very important for point of need uh, like Ebola and like mm -hmm. Zika. Uh, so the way to think about it most easily is those big devices that are currently operated in the labs, expensive, slow, uh, taking those 
devices, miniaturizing them and being able to take them out into the field to do the same quality uh, and, uh, and same test that you're able to perform in the lab, but to do it in the field at, uh, at uh, the same sample sizes mm -hmm. uh, with the same uh, uh, level of detection and ability to, uh, to detect in the field. Mm -hmm. Uh, as it relates to your second part of your question, Mike, which mm -hmm. is when will uh, our prototype uh, be commercially developed? We're currently in discussions uh, and we've uh, talked about seeking a, a strategic partner to work with uh, to bring this product to market. And we believe that we can do so uh, within first a one and then ultimately a two year time frame uh, from the point in time where we uh, where we move into that next phase and where we're keenly focused on getting there. Well, it sounds like a real game changer for portable diagnostics. So uh, we'll, we'll continue to uh, follow the development of that product. Um, next question. Um, so you mentioned the defense department licensing to a defense department contractor. Can you just give us a better idea of what the real target market is for um, for PSID that you know that you're going after right now for for this kind of technology? Well, our history, as I stated, comes from a, a great work that we've done uh, over the course of the past uh, handful of years uh, with Department of Homeland Security, with Defense Department and other agencies within the federal government. Mm -hmm. When you look at the opportunity for the Firefly product, there will be uh, government markets that are going to be um, uh, very good markets for the Firefly. Mm -hmm. But the real uh, opportunity, we believe, is in the entire molecular diagnostic space, which will heavily be focused on the medical and clinical markets. The overall molecular diagnostic market uh, has been estimated by 2020 to be $45 billion. If you just look at the PCR component of that market, uh, as a subset, and that's the method of testing that we use, mm -hmm. that's been uh, estimated at a $13 billion market uh, by 2020. So we uh, will have, uh, as we have in the past, uh, continue to have uh, government uh, customers, but when you look at the opportunities moving forward, we have an equal amount of commercial and government customers that we're talking to, especially as it relates, relates to moving forward uh, with our Firefly product. And last question, Bill, could you just give us uh, some idea of your growth strategy? Are you going to continue to grow through through acquisitions or, or what's the plan there? So, uh, as I had mentioned before, we did five point six million in revenue uh, last year, which was eighty nine percent growth year over year. To a great degree, that growth was driven uh, by the acquisitions done at the end of 2015. Uh, if you look going forward, we will continue to have strong growth and organic growth uh, at all of our segments and all of our divisions. As I said, they're all operating uh, and firing on all cylinders. Uh, and we will continue to look, evaluate uh, strong acquisition candidates uh, who will add uh, both synergies uh, as well as growth and, uh, and continue as we have in the past. And Bill, that's all the questions we had for today. Anything else uh, investors should know right now about Positive ID? Uh, no, nothing in particular, Mike. I would just say uh, uh, across our three segments, uh, we will continue to execute. Uh, and we will continue uh, to report our results and we'll look forward to, to, to people watching and seeing as we continue to make progress. And thank you. And, and thank you again for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us. And we hope to catch up with you again soon. Very good. Thanks, Mike. We've been talking to Mr. William Caragall, Chairman and CEO of Positive ID Corp, a life sciences company focused on detection and diagnostics that trades under ticker PSID. To learn more about them, please visit their website at www.psidcorp.com. Thanks for watching CEO Live TV.